insofar as our war chest is concerned, I think we, we're fairly comfortable with that. I mean, we, you've seen the cash there that we're generating and what we are anticipating going forward. But on top of that, we've got this facility that we have, uh, which is now uh, close to six billion billion rands. And thus far, we've spent all the money out of our own coffers. So we should, we should not really be having much of a problem in, in dealing with that. Uh, but of course, diversification is, is, is a big issue for us. We think that the cash that we have, and probably raising more capital if, if that becomes necessary, we could do that one in terms of, in terms of getting um, the new projects on in, in, into the fold. Uh, We've seen prices that we've never seen in the last 10 years. For instance, if you pick up pigment, zircon has been. Uh, uh, we've seen good prices in the last few, few, few months and also on Slack. So it's, it's quite exciting in terms of prices. But as Vim pointed out, the business to a large degree is not driven only by the supply, but it's driven by, by sorry, it's not driven by demand, but it's driven more by supply supply constraints that are there. Remember, this business for a very long time hasn't made money, and a lot of people have left this business. Two, you must understand that to bring back new plant and new businesses, it doesn't take two years or three years. It could take five years or more to get to that, to that level. So we're very confident that the future of this business is great. Of course, we must temper that one with some realism that one of the the challenges we face is the uncertainty in the world economy. And if that has, becomes what we think, uh, what becomes, uh, in other words, impact the, the economies immensely, then we may have some challenges uh, with the business. But for now, what we're seeing is very solid numbers.